Okay, so I'm off for my hike this morning. It's a rainy, rainy Sunday. But not too cold, which is nice. Workout resumed. This is going to be a full-time, real-time recording. So I shall have to keep track of how I'm doing. I think I have 36 minutes of music queued up for today. And with any luck, I should have this, the volume settings just about right so that everybody is talking at the same volume. I was going to invite Norma to come with me, but uh, she looked out the window and decided it was too wet for her. So she's going to sleep a little longer. So the first kilometer will get me to Harvest Lane. Time one minute. Workout average pace 10 minutes per kilometer. And then after that, I go onto the trails and uh, skirt the trail to the edge of the mountain and then uh, cut back down through the forest of fun Someone. and try out a trail that Norma discovered on Thursday. I'm recording this inside my sweater using my phone because it's just one voice. I figured this would be easier to do today. Someone. Plus it'll mean I can share it very quickly, very easily to Spreaker. In Time fact, I'm using, Workout average pace 10 minutes, 20 seconds per kilometer. I'm using the Spreaker app. Zone zero. Zone zero is under 100 beats per minute. I should be in zone one and zone two once I get warmed up. Yep, excuse me. I can see the mountain up ahead. But uh, as I have my good camera, I won't need to fiddle with my phone to take pictures. It can stay nice and warm next to my chest. Zone one. This should be the optimum volume for recording my voice. The, the phone is hanging right under my chin, basically. Time three minutes. Workout average pace 10 minutes, 25 seconds per kilometer. I can just about hear what she's saying, which is good. Zone zero. It's not too loud. Hi. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's been so many more people riding e-bikes since the pandemic. I'm sure the e-bike sales have gone through the roof. People aren't too happy about missing out on their races, so to stay fit, they can't go to the gym, so cycling is one of the options that a lot of people have taken up, either with their old bikes or with new equipment that they've purchased. A little bit later on, I'll have to check how the recording is going. I'm not sure if I have toggled the zone one um, time. Time four minutes. Yep. Workout average pace ten minutes twenty two seconds per kilometer. I have toggled the time. This is going to be about a six kilometer walk. Zone zero. It's not really raining very much. It's kind of not wet enough to worry about getting an umbrella or a rain jacket on and once I'm in the forest of fun the canopy will protect me so the Galloway people are Gallowaying away their virtual half marathon zone one God, wish some luck 
would shortly much sooner be doing it with their friends and not just sharing with their friends Zone zero. after it's done I can Time hear five some minutes. wind chimes average pace 10 minutes 14 seconds per kilometer so I can assume five minutes is five minutes because I have not paused yet since I started my recording this has been real time Luckily, there's very little traffic noise today, being early morning Sunday. But uh, it's going to be still quieter once I get into the forest. This will be the first time I have not used my Sony to record in quite a while. It is definitely superior in terms of sound quality and ambient sound but as I say with one voice I don't really need to worry too much about ambient sound or my neighbor talking to me because Time six minutes. Workout average pace I don't 10 minutes, have anybody with me just Samantha and I there's one of those televisions that people put out on their front yard that never gets picked up who wants an old television? Free, good picture. The remote was there too. I might actually, on the way back, I might see if there's any batteries in the remote. It's about the only thing I might want from it. I'm sure if somebody does pick up the TV, they'll have to bear in mind it's been out in the rain all night. So it might not be too good electronically. 36 minutes will take me to the Mount Douglas car park, I would imagine. Coming back through the Forest of Fun. Time seven minutes. Then Workout I'm going to be exploring... Pace, 15 seconds per kilometer. I'm going to be exploring a new trail, as I say, that Norma told me about from Thursday's hike. She started with me, she wanted to do the hike, but she has trouble with some of the steeper bits now. She's wearing a brace on her ankle to stop that from getting too irritated. But the trouble is, she can't really flex and straighten her ankle too much, so climbing uphill for her is difficult. She has to go side of, kind of sideways, like a crab. Someone's got a nice big chunk of firewood there, a nice pile of it. Very large pieces, mind you. I hope there's an able-bodied person in that house. Somebody Time eight who minutes. Can split. Workout average pace ten minutes fifteen seconds per kilometer. Ten minutes fifteen per. If it's a six-kilometer walk, that's going to be an hour and a bit. I was going to do my. 30 minutes of stationary bike, but doing it this way, doing the hike first, then I'll know how much time to spend on the stationary bike. Because my 10 hour plan, for those who don't know, involves working out for 10 hours a week at a semi aerobic, semi strenuous effort level something that is triple digits in terms of heart rate. I will save my photography for the last little bit after I finish my audio recording. Time nine minutes. Workout average pace 10 minutes 13 seconds per kilometer. I might actually uh, use some of the audio from my camera if I need to patch something up for my show which will be called something to do with the Forest of Fun. I've already set it up on my GarageBand um, app on my computer, but as I say, if this recording works well, I won't need to use GarageBand. I can send it directly from my phone. So the way I've got the music, I have three 
chunks of music. One at the beginning, which has probably ended by now. One in the middle somewhere. And one at the end. That's why I'm listening out for Samantha. Time 10 minutes. Workout average pace 10 minutes 12 seconds per kilometer. This is the one kilometer mark Zone here. One. 10 minutes 12 seconds into my workout. The reason Zone I zero. chose 10 hours was goes back to when I was training for ultra marathons. I found that the sweetest spot for me was when I weighed about one. 127 and that's pounds. 127 pounds is probably five pounds lighter than I am now. Zone zero. Last time I weighed myself I was 132. But because I'm running less, I'm not burning as many calories. So the weight is coming on. Time not too minutes. much. Workout average pace 10, 10 minutes, 12 hours per a week kilometer. of training in that aerobics spot will keep my weight around 130, so provided I don't try and run too hard or too fast. I can eat normally without having to overdo the intake to support my calorific needs. During that training period when I was pretty much ready to run a 50k any weekend of the year, I found that three three-hour runs and one hour of something else, either uh, at the gym or walking with Norma was enough. Sometimes I would do 10 hours of running because at the time, time I was minutes. still working. Workout average pace 10 minutes 12 seconds per kilometer. I was still working for Beacon as a community health worker and uh, I had it such Zone zero. my timetable was such that I worked for three days a week and had four days off. But that was towards the end of my working career. I never actually worked full time for them. I was employed as a casual community health worker, which meant that I could choose when I was available for work. And after three or four years of seniority, I could pretty much tell them exactly what days I wanted to work and still guarantee pretty much a full week of pay. No benefits, mind you, but that's okay. Time 13 minutes. Workout average pace 10 minutes, 14 seconds per kilometer. I've missed that. I think it's probably 12 minutes. As I say, once I'm in the forest, I should be able to hear a little better. I'll be able to hear Samantha. This is the last road crossing that I have to make as I enter Harvest Lane. I'm crossing Cedar Hill Road. My friend Rob was pretty close to where I lived last night. He took pictures of the house on the corner of San Juan and Torquay Drive, the house with the thousand lights. If you look at my Facebook page, you'll probably see the lights at night. I've Time taken pictures minutes. of the Workout lights. Average pace, 10 minutes, 15 I took seconds pictures per the first day. 10 minutes 15 per kilometer. It's not going to get much better than that. There's going to be a little bit of downhill soon, but I have to negotiate some uphills as well. Nothing major. But as I say, I'm not too concerned if it's an hour and eight minutes, which is what Strava said it would be based on my recent walking speeds. That means that I would probably, instead of doing an hour 
I mean 30 minutes on the indoor bike. I'll probably get away with doing 22 minutes to give Don't me you. that magic number of 600 minutes. Time 15 minutes. Workout average pace 10 minutes 17 seconds per kilometer. There zone you go, one. I heard that. Zone 1 will soon be zone 2. So far so good with my biometrics. You zone might two. hear occasionally a thump, thump, thump as the phone bounces off my solar plexus, my breastbone. Yep, so the Galloway people are doing their thing today. I have rejoined the Extra Mile podcast group. Find myself spending too much time playing my mindless games. Unfortunately, now I can't even play my Time 16 minutes. Workout average pace 10 minutes 25 seconds per kilometer. Can't even play my mindless games in European languages anymore. For some reason I'm stuck finding my clues in English. It's probably Zone based three. on my IP address. They figured that I would rather everything was in English which is not the case. I was using those games as a way of improving my linguistic skills. Now I'm heading down. Hello. Zone two. Okay, so a lot of the people who I see now will be not astounded, but Time, a little bit minutes. surprised Workout average pace, 10 minutes, 37 seconds per kilometer. that I'm not running. Zone three. They've seen me do these trails so many times on the march and running and that uh, now two. it's pretty much a toss-up. They, they recognize my bandana for sure, my beard, my build, my gait. Zone one. Excuse me. I haven't been feeling terribly fit lately. I think I might have got one of those stupid colds, which is kind of worrying this time because of COVID. You always wonder, do I have it? But I have not actually mingled with anybody this year other than the girls at Fairways where I shop. Time 18 Exclusively minutes. Workout average pace 10 minutes 31 seconds per kilometer. And that's those are the only people I meet close enough to contaminate. If I was a contaminant, but uh, the reassuring thing is that they all seem healthy. I see the same girls on the cash, the same Filipinas. a muddy dog. Hello. Your dog got pretty dirty. I hope she doesn't get into the, he doesn't get into the car like that. Yeah, we got a towel and everything. That's good. Yeah, you had fun, didn't you? Yep, that dog was all, its undercarriage was all muddy. Time 19 minutes. Workout average pace 10 minutes 31 seconds per kilometer. 1031. I'm going downhill now. I'm tempted to run, but I won't. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to try and run Zone zero. 10k, approximately 10k, six miles or so. I might actually do a five miler tomorrow. I have a route that I like doing which involves partly running on Mount Doug and partly running along Blinkensop Road and then doubling back on Mount Douglas Crossroad. 
So, today's recording will be mono, mono, monoral, because the phone Somewhere. only records in mono, as far as I know. Maybe the newer phones have stereo. Time 20 minutes. Workout average pace 10 minutes 34 seconds per kilometer. Time for hydration. 20 minutes in Zone zero. to my hike. And I'm on what is now Whitaker. This will skirt me all the way around to Mount Douglas parking lot. And then I cross the creek, Douglas Creek, and do the new trail loop. Which will bring me out on Ash Road. And then I'll double back through the trails to my place. That's probably where I can pick up a little bit of time. Mind you, I'm walking almost as fast now on trails as I do on the road. Definitely less than 11 minutes per kilometre, regardless of terrain. The other day I did uh, a summit hike and came back in under 12 minutes. Under 12 minutes for a summit hike is pretty good, if you ask me. One of the other reasons why I'm not stopping to take photographs today, not in this first section, is because I have taken many photographs already, so I know I have file footage to fit this part of the trail. I have so many pictures of Mount Doug, you wouldn't believe how many I have. So the trace will look a little bit strange for anybody who's seen some of Norma and uh, my trails that we run together. This was firstly supposed to be our run, then it became my hike. Workout average pace 10 minutes 26 seconds per kilometer. So you're probably listening to another piece of music now. The way I have it, I can't really hear the music unless I plug in my earphones and I really don't need to do that. Zone one. But hopefully it will be recording music in the background. I set it up on a pretty low volume setting. Hopefully that's going to work. Crossing Churchill Drive. This is the road that leads up to the top of Mount Doug, but the cars all have to park on this side of the gate. The gate is locked, and it will remain locked all Time day, I believe. Workout average pace: ten minutes, twenty-six seconds per kilometer. They don't want people crowding at the top, so one way of doing it is not allowing people to drive up Mount Doug. The only people on Mount Doug are runners or hikers. It's a little bit muddy today, but not too bad. As I say, I'm now under the canopy in the forest. So even if it did start to rain, the evergreens would protect me. Not so much as in the summer, because the maples have all dropped their leaves. The oaks have all dropped their leaves. Passing the headwaters of Douglas Creek. I'm going to be crossing the creek a couple more times before I'm done. Zone zero. Time 24 minutes. Workout average pace 10 minutes 27 seconds per kilometer. 1027, I heard that quite clearly. You probably just heard my stomach rumble as well. Didn't really have very much breakfast today. I got up super early. I was up around 5.30 today. Funnily enough, Endor didn't wake me. I was just very, very hot. So I got out of bed. Didn't want to disturb Madame and her sleep. She snores a fair bit, so quite often I have to uh, 
move away from her snoring. She obviously denies it. I snore a bit too. Time 25 not, not minutes. Like Workout her. average pace 10 minutes 26 seconds per kilometer. Zone zero. As I climb now, you will hear my heart rate go into zone one and then possibly even zone two before I'm done. Zone one. If the worst comes to the worst and this recording ends up on the cutting room floor, then I'll record tomorrow on my run. No big deal, I can do that. Zone zero. It's not like I don't put out shows. I put out more than my share of shows. Time 26 minutes. Workout average pace 10 minutes 28 seconds per kilometer. So I've got about another kilometre to do on this audio recording. Another ten minutes or so. And I'll be done. The music would have ended. And uh, so would have the recording. So I would have the recording. As I say, the videos and the photographs I'm going to be taking on the new section of trail. I have a new camera ordered. It's going to arrive on the 15th, which I believe is Tuesday. Yep, Tuesday. I'm going to have one new Nikon A300 Coolpix. I was debating whether to go upmarket or change Workout brands, but minutes, everything I have was geared to that camera, and I now know how to work it intimately. The trouble with that camera is that I have worked it too hard and for too long, and I have probably dropped it a few too many times. So the new one should Someone. have all its controls fully functional. So my web pages are doing fine. I think my favorite one at the moment is probably the Friends of the Seeker page, the photography page. I was trying to explain that to have a good heading photograph, it's best to take your subject in, on the horizontal. Make sure that your interest, the part of the image, is horizontal. Because putting a heading photograph always ends up being a mailbox shape. So a tall tree would not be a good photograph for a heading page photograph. A tall mountain would not be of much use either because that would tend to favor either the square format or the vertical orientation. But horizontal mailbox shape, 16 by 9 or 4 by 3, whatever, that works pretty well. Sometimes I've used either square format or vertical format, if there's enough detail in the middle section. Time 29 minutes. Workout average pace 10 minutes, 24 seconds per kilometer. That's basically what I'm doing when I put that picture is I'm highlight, li highlighting the center of the frame across the middle. <coughs> Excuse me. Some new blow down here. I can tell because there's sawdust on the trail. They've had to cut the branches and the logs. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is where I cut down 
to the Mount Douglas parking lot and go through the outdoor school playground, which would not be in session today, being Sunday. Zone two. The car stopping for me. Time thirty minutes. Thank, Thank you. Average pace ten minutes twenty eight seconds per kilometer. Zone one. So I might actually get to the new trail before the 36 minutes is up. Once I get away from the traffic noise, that's Cordova Bay Road I just crossed. Once I get away from the traffic noise, I'll be able to hear and Samantha's announcements a little clearer. I listened to Jim this morning. He put out a short show. I think the Galawegians are all trying to get some action going because of the Galloway Half Marathon. I don't think I'll be running roads very much soon. I never really did run too many roads. Once I discovered the dark side, it was almost exclusively trails after that. So this is where they put up the new fencing to keep people off the newly planted uh, fir trees, little conifers. Zone zero. Yep, they've done a good job. I mean, before, people would just wander across this area wherever they chose between the trees, but now, because they've planted all this stuff, they want people to stick Time to the trails. Minutes. Workout average pace 10 minutes, 27 seconds per kilometer. Zone one. Hello. One of my cohorts, a running buddy. Right, I think I'm going to check how we're doing here. Zone two. As I pull the phone out of its little sleeve. Yep, it's still recording. Let's Zone see one. how many minutes I have recorded. Looks like 32 minutes. 33 now. So that's good. We're well into that last tune I was telling you about. Douglas Creek is to my left. I'm going to have to cross it on ash and then start the new trail connector, which I believe is called Beach Trail. But I don't take the beach. I go around in the forest and come out on Durling. I Zone think one. that's the name of the road that I come out on. And then I double back a little bit and go along the Salmonberry Trail next to Douglas Creek once again, but on the other side of the creek. So I've already crossed the headwaters of Douglas Creek. I missed the weir. I will get the weir on the way back. And that'll be the last time I cross over the creek. Just coming up on Ash Road now. Ash is where I used to call out the cars as they went by me. That was a BMW. Yep, I see a trail sign just up ahead. I never used to take this trail because it's short and it's not 
heading in any direction that I really wanted to run back in the day. At this point I was heading for home, but now I am on the new trail. Under the canopy. Time 35 minutes. Workout average pace in 10 the minutes 29 seconds per kilometer. Let me get out my camera and do some video. I'm going to say goodbye to you now. The audio people are listening to my show. I will say goodbye to them today on Sunday as I start my trailer video of the new trail park section. Zone one. Bye bye everybody. You can listen to my show The Running Jackal on Spreaker, Stitcher, uh, what else? Spotify, Google Play podcasts. Zone one. Time thirty six minutes. Workout average pace ten minutes thirty seconds per kilometer. So I'm hoping you're enjoying this little video as I explore. Zone two. See there's Douglas Creek. And on the other side that's the bench where people sit to meditate. I'm not going down into the creek today. Zone one. I'm staying up on the bluff, so to speak. Auto pause. Workout resume. So there's going to be a slight discrepancy there because it detected my pause. Let me grab the phone one last time. I've already said my goodbyes, so that's okay. When it hits the 36, I'm done. Let's have a look. What does it say? 37. Okay, so I'm done. Bye-bye.